Hi, my name is Sinead. I'm a doctor of acupuncture and Chinese medicine. Today, we're gonna have a little tea and chat and talk about herbs for the fall season to support the lungs and the immune system. So this is a good time to talk about why, why do we focus on lung health? Lungs in Chinese medicine are the delicate organ. They are the boundary between the outer environment, our air, and our inner environment. They are one of the first ways in which we can get sick. So if we strengthen and protect the lungs, as well as the digestive system, we're going to boost our ability to not get sick. So, the herbal medicine that I utilize is in the form of raw herbs. There are many different ways to take herbal medicine, and I'll be talking in a future reel or video about different pill formulations you can take. But these herbs I'm gonna to mention today are all ones that you can cook like food. The first one is Yi Ren. And it looks like this. This one is incredible for digestion. It does something called drain dampness, which is like pathological water accumulation, fluid retention, excessive mucus. It can also sometimes show up as skin conditions. This one I like in the fall season to help keep the body fluids moving. And uh, be careful, if you take too much of it, it can cause constipation, but it can also be very helpful for bowel movement. The name in Western herbalism is Job's Tears. Next, we have Lianzi. And it looks like this. This is one of my favorite Chinese herbal medicines of all. It is incredibly good for energy level. In Chinese medicine, we say that it helps the spleen and kidney energy. So this has to do with our digestive strength. It also has to do with our baseline energy level. I find that when I eat this herb, either cooked like rice or in a tea, I have so much more energy and I feel like my muscles work better that day as well. I also feel like it helps with my appetite. In general, in Chinese medicine, white foods are considered good for the lung. One that I don't have here today, which I really love, is Bai He Lily Bulb, and it is a lung tonic, meaning that it strengthens the lungs. So this is an herb that usually you don't want to take if you're already sick. It's more for helping with that kind of dry cough or tendency towards asthma. It's moistening to the lungs. It also calms the mind and calms the heart. So I often throw a few grams of Bai He into my rice. And uh, as long as I'm not sick, I can take that like a meal. I also use it prior to getting on an airplane to help with prevention of lung and throat dryness. The next herb. This one smells so good. This is Huang Qi. Huang Qi is astragalus root. This you might see in many pre formulized herbal medicine, immune system boosting herbal medicines. And um, you can actually take a few slices of it and put it in hot water in the morning along with another herb called Dangui, and it really helps with baseline energy levels. This herb has even been shown to affect telomer length in some studies, a compound in this herb. There's a functional medicine podcast, I'll link it below, and they discuss this herb for promoting longevity. So this is one that I take not only in the fall, but uh, frequently throughout the year. And the last herb I'm going to discuss today and there are many, many more, but this is just one more that you can have in your toolkit, is chrysanthemum flower. Chrysanthemum flower is very good for the lungs and also for the liver. It can help to lower blood pressure and we use it in an herbal martini. So if you'd like to lessen or stop your consumption of alcohol, you can utilize this herb with two other flower herbs and it's a very relaxing and lung and liver nourishing herbal medicine. It's great for seasonal allergies, so it can help with red eyes, a dry throat. We use it in a lot of formulas where you're just getting or just catching a cold and you might have a sore throat, so it can help with relieving toxicity, we call it in Chinese medicine. All of these herbs are from Plum Flower in Oakland, uh, Meiwei Herbal Medicine and I highly recommend them for third-party tested, heavy metal tested, GMP certified source of Chinese herbs. And I hope this chat was informative. If you have any questions or comments, please write them below. And I would love to hear from you if you try any of these things. Cheers.